Hello, welcome to the Thursday, August 9th, 2018 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from San Antonio, Texas. The Homebrew project, which is a very popular project that allows users of OS X and Mac OS to install various open source packages on their Mac has had a security incident that allowed a researcher to essentially push arbitrary code to the repository, which would then have been made live by users as they updated their install of Homebrew. The root cause here was a GitHub token that was left exposed as part of a publicly accessible Jenkins install. Now, the Homebrew project has reacted to the report of this researcher and has further enhanced their own security precautions. Probably the most meaningful change that Homebrew made was to enable branch protection. What this does is that it no longer allows developers to automatically merge code, instead all changes have to be approved first. And Checkpoint took a closer look at WhatsApp and how it actually works under the hood and came up with three different quite interesting vulnerabilities in the application. Now, one special feature of WhatsApp is end-to-end -end encryption. Not even WhatsApp itself, the company is able to access any messages sent via its platform. So in order to inspect these messages, Checkpoint actually first had to get past the encryption. Now, this is of course not impossible if you are the endpoint, and that's exactly sort of what Checkpoint did here. They observed the initial key exchange, which involves scanning a QR code from the WhatsApp website. And by doing so, they were able to obtain the encryption keys for their account. So nothing really broken at this point. They were now just able to inspect their own messages and actually see how WhatsApp works. WhatsApp uses protocol buffers for serialization. That's a standard protocol Google I think sort of invented or standardized this particular format. But uh, once Checkpoint then looked closer at how all of this ties in with WhatsApp, they actually figured out that they can manipulate part of the data. So for example, Checkpoint was able to use the quote feature in group conversations to change the identity of the sender. The sender can be changed to any essentially arbitrary string. So you could even make it look like that a message is being sent by a user who isn't even part of this group. You can also change the text of someone's reply and you can send a private message to another group participant. If they respond to that private message, that response will actually be sent to the entire group. So nothing really earth shattering here. You are not able to sort of decrypt other users' messages or anything along those lines, but still a sufficient problems that could be used to, for example, cause issues within groups to defame certain users and really sort of to undermine somewhat the trust of the platform. WhatsApp compares it sort of to faking the from header in an email and that analogy I think is certainly somewhat correct. Checkpoint does provide a lot of details in its blog about these vulnerabilities. They also created a burp plugin that allows you to intercept and manipulate these WhatsApp messages. And if you are using AWS, you probably like Netflix's blog where they are sharing their methodology to detect credential compromise in AWS. The blog post walks you through how to use cloud trails. That's the log that you get from AWS to look and analyze various Zoom roll calls. By doing so, you can map out uh, which credentials are used on what instances. And if for all of a sudden you realize that credentials are used on instances they haven't been assigned to, uh, then of course you can assume that this credential may have been compromised. 
So pretty neat blog post, not a tool necessarily, more a methodology, but they walk you through step by step how to actually use these cloud trail logs to get to the information that you need to detect this. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.